Moving on now, selling dogs through platforms like Facebook Marketplace is prohibited, but many are going another route, selling puppies under listings for dog food or even crates, creating a problem for local shelters. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino is live in Northwest Bakersfield with more on what local rescues say the issues are stemming from this and what they're doing to mitigate the dog overpopulation problem here in the area. Vanya. Good evening, Keeley. Well, local rescues here are taking dogs in from the street and from shelters that are already at capacity and taking them to places that, unlike here in Kern County, do not have an overpopulation issue. But they say they are struggling to keep up with all the dogs the breeders are putting into these communities, which they say often come with health issues. We see a lot of um, cleft palate and cleft lip puppies, um, that a lot of it is just genetically not, you know, not sound breeding. Um, but if people are still willing to pay a few hundred dollars for, you know, the dogs that they want, um, then people are still going to sell them. Don Romero, a local dog rescuer, says the biggest concern is the dogs that are being bred, whether that is accidental from family dogs or intentional from those trying to profit, are not getting their vaccines and can develop health problems. These are the types of posts she says they get all the time from people alerting them of breeders selling on Facebook Marketplace. This vendor 23ABC reached out to through Facebook says the puppies he is selling are dewormed and vaccinated. But Romero argues you don't know if that is true or if the procedure was done properly. There's nothing we can do to stop them right now. So my point of view is, is if you're selling your puppies, please come and get them vaccinated. So at least when they end up in the shelter here in a few months, they're not going to get sick. Romero says the best solution would be to have mandatory spaying and neutering and licenses and permits for people selling puppies to have more regulation on the situation. And our shelters are trying to be no kill, but how can they do that when they have constant every single day dozens of dogs coming in they they it's not attainable at this point but if we could get people to stop breeding their dogs whether it's intentional or unintentional um, you know then maybe we could kind of get our footing and be more proactive instead of just reactive. Sunday Martinu with the Bakersfield Boxers and Bullies Rescue says there are many cities and counties in California with spaying and neutering as well as breeding permit programs in place where you can see the difference in shelter capacity. Here in Kern County, Nick Colin with the Kern County Animal Control Centers says there are permit requirements that limit to buying or breeding to one litter per year. But Martinu argues this is not enough as they don't see repercussions for those not following the permit. So the consequence to continuing to breed your dogs without that permit, then you need to be fined for that. And it does need to, they need to figure out a way to enforce that fine because right now they're like, oh, you know, it's not something we can really enforce. Martino adds that they have gone to the city and to the county repeatedly to ask for stricter ordinances um, here in Bakersfield and Kern County, but she says that they have not seen any results just yet. She also adds that the Spain and neutering program that she was talking about would not be for all dogs. They would be on a case-to-case -case basis in hopes of ending all the hoarding and breeding malpractices, among other dog issues we have here in Kern County. In Northwest Bakersfield, Dwani Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you. We were curious about which dog breeds end up in shelters the most, so tonight we're taking an in-depth look into those numbers. According to the pet company Chewy, the American Pit Bull Terrier is number one. The dog is popular but is also highly abused. Two is the Labrador Retriever. Since the dog is very popular, it can lead to overbreeding. Three is a German Shepherd. Four is a Dachshund. And five is a Jack Russell Terrier, whose popularity skyrocketed after the TV show Frasier, which featured a dog named Eddie.